just takes, and it doesn't take knocking on doors. It takes a lot more than that. It's already in the works, though, isn't it? It's already in the works. Residents in the apartment where a 14-year-old was accidentally shot to death get a letter from police. Good evening, everybody. A boy shot to death last weekend was the fourth 14-year-old killed in Cincinnati in just five months. And police say young offenders committed the crimes. A professor of criminology at UC says this wave of youthful victims and offenders is not something happening around the country. It's our problem. In a story you'll see only on Local 12 News, he tells Deborah Dixon what the city can do about it. Police go door to door inside the Ponciano apartments on Redding Road where a 14 year old girl was shot to death by a 14 year old boy playing with a gun. Some information for you. All right. And just to let you know that we understand. Efforts are underway to make the apartment a safer place to live. I look forward to our partnership, signs Captain Mike Neville. He will only say, the efforts have been in the works for weeks. So I understand warmer weather increases problems. We're trying to get on the front end of that now. And some of the people who are living here now won't be living here by summer. That's correct. I can promise you that. The police plan is likely about taking out high-risk adults influencing children. These men, some, some of them the fathers of these children, right, introduce their kids to this type of uh, behavior. They facilitate this type of behavior. They show them how to be violent. They introduce them to the street culture of where, you know, a slight hand of respect, a disrespect, right, results in somebody being shot. Dr. Wright says Cincinnati's initiative to reduce violence is the right strategy. It focuses on the most violent offenders who introduce children to a culture of crime and even use them. And it could look as innocuous as a group of guys hanging out on a corner right, with a bunch of 12 and 13 and 14 year olds, that's not innocuous. What is going on there is socialization into crime that ultimately leads to violence. Young men and teens hang out in front of the apartment every day, according to neighbors, who say sometimes there are so many, it's hard to walk down the sidewalk. They can expect that to change. Neville did the same thing, starting with that letter in this Avondale neighborhood after there were murders, shootings, SWAT call-ups. They targeted at-risk adults. And when the troublemakers were gone, District 4 police staked their claim. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And Dr. Wright says even though the CERV initiative has been around for years, it lost momentum when the city stopped funding it. Mayor John Cranley changed that when he took office.